talented, innovative and hardworking. These are the University of Cape Town's 2030 future leaders. They reflect the forward thinking encapsulated in UCT's Vision 2030. Young talent such as we have in the future leaders is what's going to help us be disruptive, push the boundaries, do things differently. Think about the future of scholarship, the future of postgraduate studies, the future of work, the future of universities. What does it look like and what should it be? And we can make it rather than wait for it to happen. Three new 2030 future leaders were welcomed at a function in November 2019. My research focuses on socially engaged art, so I look at artists who have often been outside of the mainstream um, and whose artworks have gone beyond the accepted conventions. What has been striking for me is the fact that much of that work remains undocumented and so we've begun doing work um, in collaboration with the um, Africa South Arts Initiative to document the works of those artists. I am an igneous petrologist, so that means I study rocks that form from magmas and lavas that crystallize both in the interior of the earth as well as at the surface of the earth. I've always wanted to be in South Africa and be an academic in South Africa and be able to train new academics and scientists in South Africa. My research is an ethnographic study of women who are working underground in South African mines and I focus primarily on platinum mines, trying to make sense of what it's like for women to actually be working underground, going underground every day. So that's the one part of it, making sense of that. But the bigger question is around how women understand themselves in these kinds of spaces. Some of the 2030 future leaders outline programs to support postgraduate students at UCT. You're going to see these women over the next couple of years as being the newest thing in oceanography in South Africa, hopefully. Dr. Katia Altieri spoke about the Advancing Women Fellowship Program in Oceanography. The program has recently announced the inaugural cohort of Ocean Women, which provides talented black women students with financial support, research opportunities and career development in the field of ocean sciences. Basically, I did research on different programs that we have for, for postgraduate studies all over the world. Associate Professor Shazreen Mohammed spoke about progress through the introduction of thesis committees, mental health workshops, financial assistance, a professional development program and a mentoring scheme for postgraduate students based at the South African Astronomical Observatory in Cape Town. And the clinician ends up working with the student for the whole year. Associate Professor Sudesh Sivarasu described the frugal biodesign process and his design course in biomedical engineering. It's aimed at developing appropriate medical devices such as prosthetics suited for South Africa and developing countries. It's hoped that the optimism and energy of the 2030 future leaders will inspire and motivate postgraduate students and emerging researchers.